Hello everyone, this is Diane. These are the journals that I'm going to be working on next for a design team project for Artsology. You can hear my printer, probably it's printing out some of the things that I'm using. I'm just going to make ephemera for this design team project actually. So I'm going to work on ephemera pieces using a couple of her kits. And then those ephemera pieces will go into these journals. What I got was a set of um, seed packet or seed advertising cards. And look at that. I She sent them to me. And then I clicked on each one and hit print each page, which had, I think, four cards to a page. and But there were 11 pages in the set. And actually, if I just hit the first one and hit um, print, it would have printed all 11. So I was printing like 44 pages. I think I got it to stop finally. I kept, I kept canceling it, and then it would start again, and I would hit cancel, and it would start again. <laughs> I don't know how many cards I have here, but I have a whole bunch of these cards. So I'm not going to use them all for this project. But right now it is printing and I can grab some off the printer and show you some library library cards that I got from her. There's two ways you can print them with the grungy look around it or plain. So I printed some both ways but they're just so pretty. I love these library cards. And of course you can journal on them. So what I want to do, I have two different versions of the Better Homes and Gardens garden book. This one is 1954 in excellent condition. <coughs> and this one is the new garden book. So this one is newer and I love the pictures on both of them. I just love them. Look at that. And then this one. They're just so pretty. I don't have the year for this one, but I know it's newer, but it's still... Oh, this says 1972. So it's still vintage, but it's quite a bit newer than this one. But they're both in really good shape. So, what I was thinking of doing for my first batch of ephemera is, is doing something to the binder cards, or the divider cards. So I'll just take one out. Actually, I'll take a couple out. I don't really know exactly what I want to do. I was thinking of making something that I'll just glue to the front or the back. But I don't, look at that's pretty. I want to leave that just as it is. But I don't know if I want to do something on the card itself. So let's just make something to put on it and then we'll decide if we want to um, do something like collage or something on this. Um, what I have are these plant cards that you could, would get in a membership club type of thing. You would get new cards every month and put them in the big greenhouse box. So in this set were a lot of cards that don't have the pretty color picture on them. They might have black and white illustrations or they might just have text. All of those have a little bit of illustration, but I thought I'd use some of these plainer cards and make something that I can put right on the front here. So these are uh, cards with the plants on them, obviously, that I collaged on. For another project that they didn't get used in. And then I, I made sure there was journaling space on the backs. So I might use those too it's somewhere in the book. But for now, I'm going to take this card. I like this picture. Um, So what I want to do is put a little pocket on here and then um, use it to put this in if this isn't too big. 
So, what will I use for the pocket? Maybe some of the text pages from this book, Nature Notes of an Edwardian Lady. Even that would be pretty on it. So that one just has text, that one. I guess I put the text pages in the front. Okay, let's start, let's start there. Actually, some poems here. falling off. I usually have my other trimmer over here. This one is from Hobby Lobby from the Paper Studio. And I don't know why, but that the blade keeps just falling off. So I could put that on as a little corner tuck there and then slip that in there. else do I want to do to it? I mean, I don't want to get too fancy because I need to do something for every tab card. That's what I want to do. And I have two of these journals to make. Plus, I'll have to decorate all, you know, decorate other pages too. So I don't want to do so much on the front that it's going to cost $200 for this journal. And I'm sure you don't want that either. So thinking maybe some of these trims just to add a little color I could just take some of this and sew it across the top there. But I'm not at my sewing machine of course. And maybe that would be enough just to add a little bit of color. So I'll sew this across the top and then I'll sew this to this and probably sew all the way around the card because I'll use a darker thread. And this is on cardstock. So if I, I think if I just ink the back of that. I don't want to do a lot of inking in these either. But maybe these white cards will need it. And then I could sew the whole thing down. And you'd still have this side. There's one. my plant card. Oh, there they are. I'm, I'm holding them right in my hand. Choosing a fertilizer.
need a new blade in there too. And I want this pocket to be a diagonal one. So I'll just mark on it the width of the card and maybe how high up I want the pocket to go. And I will put that mark in the cutting trough or whatever that is. And I don't want to go all the way to the edge of the card, so I'll come in from the mark there. not what I'm putting in there. So I don't need to pull out any more of these tabs. I just need to prep some more of the cards with what I'm going to be using for pockets. Now this one is not going to have any pictures because the pictures are at the bottom where I'm going to put the pocket. Maybe instead of a pocket, I'll put a little notepad on here that you can write on. just cut one of these out if I knew where I put my scissors. I know I t one pair is downstairs, still down there from when I was cutting wallpaper. Here's another pair. there and you'd still have your little illustration on how to sharpen a hoe. This is some of that beautiful trim that I got from Denise's shop. I don't know if she still has it. I got it a long time ago and I might just kind of bunch that up there when I sew it. There. So I can do some with pockets and some with just um, cards attached. So how many do I need? I have two there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's twelve. There's 16, 19 if I keep all of the pack, if I keep all of the dividers in there and if I cover them all with something. That's a lot. I'll do at least nine. So we'll have at least half of them covered. And I might not even keep them all in there. Depends on how fat the book gets. I don't like my books to get too fat because you're going to be adding a lot to it and making it even fatter.
to go right about there. So there's my little pencil mark. I'm going to put it right there in the cutting ditch. That's a sparkly one. So this is kind of a stash history too because I'm using some of my stash of these plant cards and my um, fibers. I don't use them like I should. Well this is fun. It'll be more fun when I can move over to the sewing machine. Okay, so this one has these pretty pictures that I don't want to cover. So, thinking. <coughs> Sorry. I think I'll keep this side, and I might put a little side pocket right there. Sorry. I had an extremely busy weekend. I went to a wedding. And then uh, yesterday, I went to a wedding on Saturday. And then yesterday, um, my kids came over here for a cookout to celebrate my daughter's and my birthdays. My daughter's is today, mine's tomorrow. But this video, by the time this video gets up, they might both might be over. I don't know when it's going to be posted. But, so we did that. And um, this evening, I worked today, and I'm trying to get a video done before my granddaughter comes, because I'm going to be watching her for the evening. tomorrow on my birthday I hope I'm gonna have time to um, do a couple videos working on this journal and then later in the day I'm gonna be driving to my sister's house because we are going on a bus trip on the following day and we have to be her she lives an hour away from me and we have to be in a nearby town of hers at 5.30 in the morning. I think it might take about 20 minutes to get there from her house. So I'm spending the night at her house tomorrow night. And we'll have still have to get up bright and early to be at the bus, wherever the, we're picking up the bus, at uh, 5.30 in the morning. And then we're driving to... Columbia, Maryland. I didn't even remember. We planned this a long time ago. I mean, I she told me about it, and I said yes, and paid for the trip bef before I went to Alaska, and I keep forgetting about it. So she reminded me that it was this week. I love that one. So pretty. So anyway, um... I, I, I didn't know where it was. Last time we did a bus trip to a show, it was to Rochester, New York, which was, you know, a few hours, a couple hours away, probably three. Baltimore's further. I had no idea where we were going. But it's more than just a bus trip. I said Columbia, but it's pretty close to Baltimore. The show is in Columbia, and actually my, my sister's son lives there, but he's going to be out of town use that um, but after the show we're going to go to to Baltimore which is about a half hour from my nephew's house so <clears throat> and we're going to I guess we're going to get on a boat and do a cruise around Baltimore Harbor 
So that's cool. I didn't know we were doing that. Then we'll have that's a two hour cruise. Whoops. Dropped my cutter and the blade stayed in it when I dropped it. Go figure. Um, and then after the the cruise, we're going we'll have a couple hours to be on our own and just kind of browse around the shops and find a place to have our dinner before we start home. So we're not going to, see it just fell out again. We're not going to start home from Baltimore until 7.30 at night. It's going to be a long day. So then of course I'm going to spend the night at my sister's again and then come home. I don't know why I cut it like that. I think I want those words. But anyway, I just found out today because I asked my sister, where are we going anyway? <clears throat> so she found the itinerary and got out. She, she's she been so crazy busy, she wasn't even aware of the stuff we were doing either. So now we're both excited about the bonus stuff that goes with this trip. I'm going to have to see if I have a new blade for that. <clears throat> for this kind of um, rustic journal, that doesn't bother me, but I think it's time to change that. <clears throat> so, that's what I'm going to be doing this week. I'll be home Thursday, hopefully fairly early. And then I have to watch the boys that afternoon. So, Friday I'm working. Saturday, I might finally have a day to just stay home and do, do this kind of stuff. We'll see. But <clears throat> I listed my all of my paper dolls last evening after the... I trimmed that down so it would fit in this pocket. Hopefully it'll fit after I sew it on. Um, I'm going to shut my door and turn my air conditioning air conditioner on. <sighs> it'll probably take a while before I feel anything, but... Um, what was I saying? Probably nothing important. So we're having all different kinds of pockets and things on these on these cards, which will then decorate the index tabs. Oh, it's almost time for my granddaughter to be here. I have so much to do. I have dishes to wash and I have laundry to do. And my son said she's not allowed to watch TV, so she must have been naughty. So I can't keep her occupied with that, which means she can't watch. Um, she can't play on her phone, can't play games and stuff like that. So Billy said my son. He said that if I have chores to do, he can, I can have her help me. We'll see if she's very helpful, but I mean, she's eight, almost nine. She should be able to help. He said he wants her to do something productive every day, so I guess I'll make her productive. But I wanted to get some crafting done before she came because I can't. It's hard for me to do this while the kids are here because they they want to be in here doing stuff with me, and then I can't get anything done. So I think I can just put this library card on this with that little trim. So I'm not going to get any sewing done today, I'm sure. But at least I'm getting a start on getting things picked out. I don't. I even lost track of how many cards. But I need enough for two journals, so I can keep going. If you don't mind. Let me see if I have a blade. This is a 
box I keep my extra tapes and paper cutters in. Yep, this is the one. That one, that's one that's already open. <clears throat> I'll probably just do one more here and then go downstairs and be ready for her. That's cutting much nicer. This red one. You could ink up any of these things that you want to, but I am not going to. I'll probably just ink the backs of these cards. So, how many do I have? One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. Well, I said I wanted nine, so at least nine. So let's just do one more. That's interesting. Somebody sent that to me. Okay, so that's nine. And I am going to go downstairs and be ready to greet my granddaughter when she gets here. So I told you this would be a really quick one, but at least I feel like I got a start on it. All right, so um, hopefully I'll have time to do another video before I go to my sister's tomorrow. And then I'll have these scheduled to appear on my channel at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time in the morning, which is what I've been doing um, because um, I talked to Gail about, you know, our channels and stuff, and she suggested, thought that that was working out well for her, so I thought I'd try it. So thanks, Gail, and thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.